My name is Shima, and I go to school at Foothill Elementary in the fifth grade. I am blind, and I read Braille. I read Braille with my fingers, and it's like I, it's just dots with my fingers made into letters. So today I'm going to be reading The Sleepy Owl, and I chose this book because I think it's really cute. <clears throat> Little Owl lived deep in the woods. All day long, she perched on a branch, sound asleep. Each evening, as daylight faded, she woke up. She did not find getting up easy. She was a bit of a sleepy head. Little Owl yawned and stretched her wings. Good evening, everyone, she said, but there was no one around. I wish I had woken up earlier. The other owls have all gone and I have no one to play with. Little Owl spread her wings and flew off into the night sky. Far below her, Little Owl saw a house. I might find a playmate there, she thought. She swooped down onto a windowsill and tapped on the glass. The sound of the taps woke Tom. What do you want? He said sleepily as he opened the window. Come and play with me, said Little Owl. I'm much too sleepy. It's the middle of the night. Come back tomorrow afternoon. We can play then. How can I wake up in the day, said Little Owl. I wake up only at night. Take my alarm clock. As soon as you hear it, go off, fly straight over here. Little Alan wondered how the metal contraption could help her, but she picked it up in her claws and flew home. Back on her branch, Little Owl sat, set the alarm clock down beside her. By now it was day, so she soon fell asleep. A terrifying noise woke her. It almost made her fall off her branch. The noisy yellow contraption rang and shook as though it would never Stop. The noise woke every owl in the woods. What's the matter? They shouted. Who's making that horrible noise? Owls hate being disturbed in the middle of the day. Little Owl tried to stretch her wings, but she was 
too tired. And the sunlight hurt her eyes. Great tears fell down onto her feathers. Her aunt tried to comfort her. Don't cry, she said. If you get up in time tonight, you can play with us. In his home, Tom was waiting for Little Owl. What had happened to his new friend? Why hadn't she come? Be sensible, Tom, his mother said. Owls sleep by day and you sleep at night. So how can the two of you play together? Why not finish painting your kite instead of moping about? So Tom got out his painting box and painted an owl face on his kite. Then he and his friend Bob played with it all afternoon. Now Tom had his own owl to play with and once more his owl could fly just like his friend Little Owl. That evening, Little Owl woke up earlier and got up quicker than ever before. She had to take the alarm clock back to Tom. Near his house, she found the two boys playing with the kite. She saw the picture of herself that Tom had painted on it. How nice! Time for bed, Tom's mother called. Tom waved to Little Owl as she flew away. He is still my friend, even though we can't play together, thought Little Owl. And back home in the woods, all the owls were waiting to play with her. That's the end of the story. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.